Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about CloudWatch and in specific, we'll be talking about creating these alarms. So you see, uh, this is a CloudWatch that we have created and whenever it reaches this uh, threshold, we'll be getting an, an alarm. So once you create this alert, you have to subscribe. So you'll be getting an email in which it says to uh, subscribe. So once you subscribe, it will be changing uh, to confirmed from pending. So this is when I subscribe. So this is the page uh, when I subscribed it. So we have uh, successfully subscribed. After that, we can get the email. So since it's uh, reached its threshold, I have got this email. So we'll be looking into, uh, you know, creating these alarms. So let's start the video. So initially I have created an instance here, which is running right now. So you know how to create an instance. So you just need to launch and uh, just give the name. So in the previous one, we have given a uh, sample EC2. So just need to give the name here and uh, select the appropriate AMI image. So I'll just select the default one, which is Amazon Linux. Once it is done, you can select the key pair and uh, then uh, add the security groups. So usually I keep it allowed. So both the HTTP, HTTPS and SSH. Uh, depending on your requirement. So for this, I have uh, kept all uh, allow and you can just launch it. So this is how I created this instance, right? So it's right now running. Now let's go to the CloudWatch. Okay, let's go from here in alarm and let's create an alarm. So create so here you have to uh, select the metrics. So before that, let's talk uh, like what is CloudWatch. So Amazon CloudWatch is a monitoring observability service provided by AWS that helps you to collect and track metrics, collect and monitor log files and set alarms. So it allows you to gain insights into your AWS resources, applications and services, helping you to ensure their performance, availability and reliability. So that is what the definition according to the docs. So let's select the metrics. So since we are going ahead with EC2, I'm selecting EC2 here and per instance metrics. And here specifically, I'll be using CPU utilization. So click the CPU utilization and uh, select the metrics. So here I have to change the instance ID. So this is the one that we have created. So I'm using my instance ID and adding that. You see the name will be changed. So sample EC2. You see, we already got, uh, got the graph. So here we have two types. So static and anomaly detection. So basically the static threshold type allows you to set a fixed predefined values to trigger alarms based on the expected metrics values. Whereas anomaly detection threshold type uh, employs machine learning to automatically learn and adapt to metric patterns, identifying unusual behavior without uh, predefined thresholds. So that is what uh, the difference uh, between these two anomaly detection and static. So in this, in this case, so uh, we'll be using the uh, static. So I'm using uh, greater than or equal to. So I'll just use it as one, which I have used in the previous one. So this is a threshold. So whenever it uh, touches that threshold, we'll be generating that alarm. And we have data points to the alarm. So basically, uh, let me show you the example for this uh, data points to alarm, one out of one. So this is the example that uh, we have took from the documentation. So in this specific graph, uh, the valuation period and the data points to alarm are three. So whenever there is uh, three periods over the threshold, an action is invoked. So if we talk about uh, first uh, period, we don't have any alarms. So if we consider these two, we just have two data points. And above the threshold, we don't have any data points coming to this three, you see we have one data point, two and three, and all are uh, above this threshold. So you see after three periods over threshold and alarm is invoked, since we have used three by three, uh, whenever uh, there is, uh, you know, whenever there are three data points above this threshold and alarm is invoked. And uh, here you see there is only one data point, so we don't get any alarm. So only one period over threshold, no action is invoked. 
So that is, uh, that is what it is. So here it's three, whereas uh, we just kept it as one just to uh, you know simplify. So that is just our definition of it. And uh, uh, we'll be talking more about this uh, in our blogs and Instagram channel. So let's go to the next. And here you can create so coming to in alarm, okay, and insufficient data. So basically these are metric alert states. So if it is okay, the metric and expression is within the defined threshold. So if you click okay, it's just, uh, you know, it, within this defined threshold. If you select an alarm, so the metrics and expressions is outside the uh, defined threshold. And this is where you can generate the alarm. And the other one is insufficient data. So the alarm has just started. The metrics is not available or not enough data is available for this metrics to define the alarm state. So that is what the definition for these uh, three uh, states. So in this case, you can just click uh, in alarm. If you don't have any, create new. Uh, just add it as, you know, alert one, two, like I uh, just uh, can give the name of this topic, your email ID. So I'll just give my email ID. and create the topic. So it is done. So you can add the other actions as well if you want, but in this case, I'll just leave it as default. Next. And here uh, you can generate, uh, uh, let me give it as alarm two, and uh, you can just give the uh, you know, description, like why, like what is this alarm and so on. So once it is done, you can go back and you can create the alarm. So this is how we have created the alarm. So, so this is what uh, we have got. You have received an email because your CloudWatch alarm one in your state uh, because the threshold has crossed one out of one data points. So that is how we can create these alarms. So, so we'll be discussing uh, more topics uh, in the further videos. Coming to this video, I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.